Hey, it's Bay, and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to be reviewing Reflector. So this is a pretty cool application. If you don't know what it is, it's for Mac and PC. And what it does is it wirelessly mirrors your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch screen to any Mac or PC. So this is pretty cool. It works with iOS 7 as well as the iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S. If you want a complete list of what this application is compatible with, uh, with the iOS devices um, you could look right here or you can go to the site the the link will be in the description as well but if you want to see the list right now you want to go into full screen or I recommend it as well as uh, uh, 1080p or 720p so here's the complete list right here and uh, yeah I'm just gonna you could just pause it and yeah okay so this is pretty cool uh, reflector is $12.99 USD, but you could also have uh, a trial version for like seven days, so you could try it out if you're not sure whether to buy it or not. And before you make any decisions, make sure to watch this video because maybe this will help you. So, yeah, pretty cool. Here's the site. This site tells you everything you need to know about Reflector, but I'm here, so watch the video first. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to be reading it off the website. So, your iPhone or iPad on your computer. That's pretty cool because you could make like presentations and I guess you could hook your computer up to a projector and so everyone can see it. So that's pretty cool. Um, AirPlay mirroring is built into the device. No extras needed so you don't need to buy those fancy cables that cost a lot. Well, I guess they don't cost a lot but you don't have to buy anything else. Just this software or this application and basically you're ready to go after you install it of course and then just start it up and then you're ready to go. Over here, it lists some powerful features. So it says here you could record. So it comes with its own built-in screen recorder, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to buy your own. And uh, you could just start doing whatever you need. Actually, I should list what you you could do with this application. Basically, what mirroring does, it, yeah, it mirrors your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch's screen to your computer. So you could do like presentations or like on school or work or even gaming commentaries like maybe what I'm going to be doing or tutorials to help people out and uh, yeah you could mirror multiple devices as you can see here pretty cool and that's just pretty self-explanatory password protection so let's say you have like someone in the same wireless internet connection as you and they like they're like oh what's this and then they stream or they mirror their iOS device onto your computer and you don't want that you could just put a password and problem solved so yeah pretty cool um, that's actually pretty much it to the website you could go ahead and look around um, the latest version as of the video has been uploaded is 1.6.3 and uh, let's go ahead and launch it up and I have it here boom it's done you didn't notice anything because it's in the background kind of program things but it's actually done all you need to do is swipe up on your iOS device hit airplay and then your PC name and swipe mirroring on so again I'll show that again swipe up and then hit airplay which is it's just base cinema but it should say airplay and then click your PC name and then swipe mirroring on because if it's off it won't do anything or it won't show as you can see here so pretty cool um, there's some settings as well um, if you double click the back ground program icon thing as you can see it opens up this preference preferences window excuse me um, there's two tabs settings and about um, yeah pretty self-explanatory here you could change your name uh, you could optimize it for your device and I'm just gonna do any device here because I'm gonna be putting on my iPhone pretty soon um, about it shows you about you could also check for updates and locate the files I guess where it's located at so pretty cool here's where you could put in the password and yeah there's more settings when you right click the uh, the the program itself or the iPad as you can see it's pretty cool um, let me put it to landscape awesome right like you could it, it look no lag at all well there is a little bit of lag but um, no lag like right here but when you're gaming there is a little bit of lag so as you can see I have this like iPad white skin or I guess you could call it yeah it's kinda like a skin and uh, they call it frame here but yeah if you right click the settings are here so the first setting is uh, you could enter full screen or you could do side or the on your keyboard alt 
and F. So if you enter full screen, it just looks a lot more professional. And uh, yeah, so let me exit that. Um, close connection, pretty self-explanatory. It closes the connection, and you have to go back to AirPlay or your iPad or iOS device, and I guess go back and connect to the computer again. So show frame, basically, the frame is the the iPad skin thing or your iOS device skin thing. So pretty cool. Um, you could change the frame as well to like iPad mini, black or white, iPad air, black or white, or just the regular iPad, black or white. So you can see it's black now, iPad air, it's noticeable because there's like a shorter kind of bezel thing over here and on the sides I meant. <laughs> and yeah, so let me just change that back. And uh, over here, the next you have start recording. Um, I'm not going to list like all the commands on the keyboards, it's just right there so you could get you guys can see that and uh... yeah so it's it's pretty cool so when you start recording well you can't really see it as you can see there on the top recording and then it has the how many seconds there are so um... let's go there we go and uh... yeah once you're done recording you could press stop recording and then it should prompt you to save it wherever you like I'm just gonna block this out so you guys don't see like any of my stuff. And so just put it to desktop, save, and it's exporting as you can see here. And then what it does it is it automatically plays for you. So pretty cool. Um what else? Let's see. Show actual size, you could stretch to fit, I guess, as you can see here. So if you put uh half size it's like a cute little itty bitty ipad so cute <laughs> anyways let's let's put it back to actual size here and uh... these three options are i guess connected because um... automatic orientation you could just flip it whenever you flip your ipad and force landscape no matter what you do it's in landscape no matter what and force portrait it's in portrait no matter what and actually yeah that's Pretty much it to the settings. Let's go ahead and put a mult another device on my computer. There we go, my iPhone. Uh, let's let's actually do stretch to fit. There we go. And now they're together, and you can see. Let's let's enter full screen. Where's the other one? Oh, oh no. I don't know why I won't do the other one, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, multiple multiple devices you could mirror multiple devices in one that's awesome simultaneously and uh, I'll show you guys some games like Minecraft Pocket Edition yeah um, let's let's put up Minecraft here as well ta-da whoa oh no there the server has restarted let's go ahead and go to this world and ooh. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag here and there. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear the sounds. Let's see. Boop. Boop. No, this one's on vibrate. There we go. Oh, there. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag. There's more lag than usual because I am mirroring two devices at once. So, yeah. As you can see, pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and disconnect my iPhone. And uh, let's go ahead and stretch to fit. Or no, actual size I meant. There we go. And we can play Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's pretty cool, guys. And uh, it, it's just awesome. Like, you could record without jailbreak, but of course it's not free. There is a little bit of lag, as you can see here, but sometimes there aren't. there Or there isn't any lag. So, yeah. Pretty cool. There is a little bit of frame rate lag here and there. Like sometimes it freezes and then it speeds up to where you are. And uh, sometimes there's some, I guess, sound lag. But other than that, this is pretty cool because um, there isn't much lag actually while you're doing whatever you need to do besides gaming. But you might experience a little bit of lag while gaming. But nonetheless, this is a pretty cool, awesome application. I'd recommend go buying it. To me, it is a little bit better than Air Server because there is a, a lot less lag than Air Server. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be ending off the episode here, guys. Or not the episode, the video. This video review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a, a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to go check out Air Server. There's a 7-day free trial, so why not just, you know, use it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.